Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Express Performance, my name is Sam. In today's video I'm going to be applying PPF to Lee from Borum Engines for Transit MSRT. Unfortunately I would have done it in the last video but that was kind of an infill video because I didn't have enough, I didn't have internet at home and now I do and my other camera didn't run out of battery, excuses, excuses, but now it's in, it's cleaned, I've prepped it, it's ready to go. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe down below. Let's get into the today's. Let's get into today's video. So we're going to be putting PPF on the full front end. So the bonnet, the lights, the bumper, the A pillars, the top of the roof, the wing mirrors, this part of the arch, and this part here. There on the end of that part there, arches on either side, and the big flat panel which sits behind the wheel. And I'm going to do this small part here. I'm going to be doing all the door cups as well. Unfortunately I don't have any patterns available for this. Well I've got the bonnet and the lights but I might as well just do them by hand. To be fair actually I'm, I'm going to plot the lights out. I'll do the lights. Um, the rest of it I'm just going to do by hand. This van is super super cool. I really want one. <laughs> just looks mean especially in here in the workshop with all the lights on it it's just just pings so eye-catching it's unreal anyway let's go so i'm going to try and do everything in one piece the front bumper i'm going to try and do in one piece only because the orange i didn't have any dirt lines well you can end up getting to sort of dirt lines where on the edges of the film and being orange it's going to stand out like i saw far many dirt lines dirt dirt, dirt, dirt lump is a fair feral chunk of the the main body of the van it's quite a big bump look how big this bumper is it's actually a really big bumper it's not just because it's on a van but in in the grand scheme of things the, there's not really much material between here and here but when it gets out there it's a real sort of chunky area so anyway yeah i'm gonna plot the lights out i'm gonna get the lights installed then i'm gonna get the bonnet done but i just gotta do a bit of a clear up and a bit of an accent smashed my glass plate which was in my transfer one of my transfer plates um just caught it went to move it and it's just bloody exploded this is the good thing about window film it holds glass together if it does break as you can see all the bits with film on are all held together meaning if anyone tried breaking into your property or your car they have a bit more of a harder job because it's all held together so that's that cleaned up about an hour and an hour later. Nightmare. Anyway, so I was about to start plotting the lights out and I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna get those installed. Also probably lost about an hour of the day, so yay. So yeah, I'm gonna get the lights plotted and the bonnet on. That's my main goal today. Possibly the wing mirrors. So lights, bonnet, wing mirrors by the end of the day, and then tomorrow I'm gonna to go for bumper and all the other little bits and pieces. Let's go. The lights are now on. We get the bonnet on now. Slow mo or time lapse. That's the bonnet laid on. Literally, I need to wrap. I'm going to wrap the front, wrap the edges. Obviously, I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to let it all dry out. Um, like in the last video I did with the Discovery. By the time this one comes out, that one will be out. The reason I start lock the bottom in first is because I want that perfect. Um, I normally would go the opposite way so the water all travels down, but because I wanted the quality finish, that's how I how I did it with this one. I didn't get everything I wanted to get done today. I've got the bonnet on, the wing mirror on this side, the lights are on on either side. Um, yeah, tomorrow is going to be a bit of a fun day, but I'm going to have to try and get the rest on for tomorrow so then it can dry and Lee can collect it Friday afternoon because he wants it back for the weekend. See you tomorrow. So we're into day two now. Just got in. Looks like it's drawn out really, really well. Hopefully I'll get this edge tucked round in a while. I'm going to start off by getting this mirror on today. I got that one on yesterday afternoon. Ideally I wanted to get that one on. I just ran out of time go for the bumper and then I'm gonna work my way back so yeah fair bit to do today so I thought I'd just get this bonnet locked down first of all um, I've just put that wing mirror on started wrapping around just allowing all the edges to dry out I'm just trying to get the main body of the actual mirror on because it is quite complex and curved I could put it into two pieces but I'm not gonna again trying to keep it sort of a clean one-piece look all the way around this fan if I can the bonnet 
I'm going to just start wrapping around the edges now. I'm not going to actually cut on the underside yet. I'm just going to I'll still leave that to allow to dry and bond to the surface for before even cutting that. If you see here, you've got two points. If I was to start wrapping all that round, it would just be an absolute mess underneath. It would just all be bunching underneath and it would just be too much material in this area and it'll end up letting go and releasing. So what I do is put a, a cut across as close as possible to the edge. I'll show you on this side, I've just done it. So what I do is just put a small cut across here. Yeah, so it just nips the edge of the corner, which relieves all the tension and the amount of material. See now if you see underneath, there's no material actually on the corner which is going to prevent it lifting. So for the longevity of it, it's the best thing to do really. And I'll do that again on all the corners if it needs it. I'm going to carry on and get this all locked down. The bonnet's trimmed in and wrapped around, just still drying out before I reassemble it. I'm going to put the bumper on in two pieces. I've decided I've come to the fact that I've got two small joints there and there. I'll get it seamless so you won't be able to see it. It's going to be a bit more easy to manage as I'm by myself today. I'm pulling the liner like 2.6 meters around. It's going to be a fair. I just don't want to damage the film and waste the film. If it was to fall off for whatever reason and go all over the floor, it's a game over in a new piece and this film is just too expensive to waste so yeah I'm gonna just do half and then do the other half Q time -lapse. I generally reckon with that part there, because it's going every single way, I don't know, it must be, I reckon it's probably one of the most challenging bumpers I've done. I don't think it's the most difficult, but I think it's the most challenging I've done. Does that make sense? But yeah, so that put it near enough on, just waiting for a few places to dry out. Uh, in the just around the vents and stuff. There's a little bit of moisture still in it, but that will that will dry and evaporate through the film over time. Just allowing it to all dry and settle down, and then yeah, I'm going to trim that in in a while. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a bit of lunch first, and then I'm going to just tidy up this area, so then I can get the other side in, and then lock it down and create those those joins. So I've just tidied this up, this area up here, so that I can put the next piece on and butt it up to this point. There's a couple of relief cuts I've had to put in certain areas just to, because of the amount of tension which is on it. I feel like even if there was a pattern for it these days, it would have been there in the same place. It's drying out quite nicely. I've trimmed a few bits up, just allow more air to get into it. So I've come to the conclusion this is actually probably the worst bumper I feel like I've done. Um, not so much the worst bumper, but like the most painful list. This, this part here where it comes out and then just goes each way. I've just pulled this headlight off. I wasn't happy with it. There was a, a couple little bits in it down here. Um, and because it was on there from yesterday, I was like, it's got to come off. I've got to redo it. I wasn't happy with it. Um, so, you know, you, most people probably would have overlooked it or wouldn't have noticed it but it kept bugging me i've noticed it and then that was it I had to come off this one's fine just need to get the clean up so i've just trimmed this other wing mirror in as well so that one's near enough done again i'll just check it and make sure it's settling down all right overnight i'm going to be getting on with the wings and the a pillars and the roof parts now yeah it feels like today's just been super slow i suppose when you spend probably i was at combined two and a half three hours across these two it does drag on obviously you know you got something you can't really rush it's got to be sort of perfect so just sort of take your time and make sure your the film's not drying out too much or near enough the front end well the bumpers on the bonnets on the wing mirrors are on and sleep if anyone struggles for, to sleep at night take up ppf you'll be out out for the count it gets about three to three and a half, three in the afternoon when you've been doing it all day. Or from like eight o'clock in the morning, about now you just start feeling a bit like, like getting a bit sleepy. Day three, I've got a fair amount left to do. I need to try and get it all on and done by tonight. 
because Lee wants it back for the weekend. So both the all the front ends done. Bonnet, lights, bonnet, bonnet, lights, bumper, wings are on. I've got to do these all the little arches today. Wing mirrors are on, and just all the little bits and pieces are extras that he wanted. So, put the bonnet back together, that's done. Just needs a bit of a polish and clean. This wing I've just addressed again, I wasn't happy with it, so I've replaced that. Um, this panel's on, just needs trimming in the bottom, it's still pretty wet. Um, gone, started going over the bumper a little bit. Just want to point out that I had to, I don't know if you can see it, but because of the amount of tension which is on the bonnet, on the bumper, sorry. I've had to put a relief cut in here, so I don't know how well you can see. But so basically there's like a V out of this really tight recess. There's just so much tension, I just knew it, over time if the water's just gonna just start sitting on this edge, and it'll just end up eating in, and it'll end up would've just lifted here. So to minimize and reduce that already, I've just cut it out. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. There's more coverage on that bumper having it wrapped than it would have been if I was to probably have a pattern. The thing is looking awesome. The colour's really popping. Right, today has been absolutely mental. I've just been fitting all day. The rest is all on and trimmed in. So this this part's now done. Each and every single one of those little black bits it's got PPF on it as well. Um, I thought over time they might get a bit scratchy so I've actually PPF them as well. I've just got to install this bit on this arch now so it can dry overnight. Good morning, Saturday morning. Come in, it's seven o'clock. Little cheeky McDonald's for this fine Saturday morning. So I've got to just trim out these last couple of panels. I've got to put one small bit on the bumper left to do, and then Lee will be coming to collect it and taking it away. It's dried out really nice actually. Again, I need to put some lights on because you won't be able to see that well. First off, let's go get this breakfast in. Let's go. So, my machine's got a cross cut like, uh, capability, so it'll cut and slice off once it's done. And I need exactly about one an inch strip for the rear of the bumper. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the cross cut system on here. So, wherever it's lined up to. Now, it's changing its blade. So, so we've got, a, now we've got one perfectly straight edge. Now, if I measure bring it out slightly so to the middle of that take it in a little bit a bit more so I do it to this line in a little bit more So that's now an inch, it's going to cut off, so I cross cut again. <clears throat> I'll save of actually making a, a piece on there, I can just design a, an inch strip, just measure it on the system. There we go, perfect inch strip. Let's fit it. Just saves loads of time and allows you not even to have to fire the computer up. So you're actually saving power. It's green production. That's that one done. So that's that arch on as well now. Ross from over at National. Great lad just bought me a 
another McDonald's toffee latte. Lucky me. Progress is being made and Lee's going to be here in 45 minutes. Let's go. So nearly finished here. Generally, I don't really like vehicles leaving this quick after having PPF installed. Yeah, needs must and like I say to Lee, like if there's any, any issues or whatever, just swing by with it and I'll leave one of my really good customers so I'm not 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 worried like that and I always say I come back in a few weeks anyway with any vehicle with PPF just so we can make sure it's all sitting down nicely there's no edges lifting or you know the this is all applied on the outside of the vehicle it's not like window film where it's all on the inside this all needs to be me broom over it's not like window tint where it's on the inside protected from the elements this is all on the outside and if it is going on well it's still relatively wet in places where i've put it on yesterday and i'm even just putting a few little bits on today so in the grand scheme of things i it's uh ideally i would want it in here for another 24 hours but tomorrow's sunday uh lee wants to use the van so it needs to be out but like i say to him you know if there's any issues you see over the weekend, whatever, just swing by. I'll lay it down, trim it out, cut it in, whatever. But it should be fairly, fairly good. I've, you know, don't really have a lot of tension areas. The only bits, high bits of tension that I was on about the other days on this, on these lower parts of the bumper. But I'm going to say to him anyway, I've never done anything with so much tension on a front bumper before in one piece. So I'm going to say to him, look, if it needs to come back, it doesn't really matter, it, you know. Obviously, it's not good. The only other thing that I could think of is where they would normally put, I would reckon they would have put a join if they would put a join, would be along this line here. I think that would just look god awful. So, you, well, not unless you put it up perfectly. Um, it would be all right, but I, in the grand scheme of things, I think it would look better without, or without a seam. So I'd rather just have a small cut like I've done at the top on either side than have a a potential line going through the middle anyway i've got a few more pits to put on Lee's gonna be here in about 25 minutes and i need to give it a quick polish so i'll stop yakking on and get on so <coughs> we're all done installing everything's cut and trimmed in now i'm gonna pull it outside give it a good polish give it a good clean just clean the windscreen i want to get it out in the sunlight get it baking all right so that's the transit done all finished outside polished up Roll slow mo. So I'm waiting for Leo, just giving the floor a quick clean, ready for Monday morning swept up mopped it don't forget to smash that subscribe button below turn the notification bell on and you will never miss another cool vehicle and don't forget to hit the like button as well comment let me know what you think about the van and i'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>